Hi guys and welcome to Angling For You and you join me at a fantastic fishing tackle and bait in Doncaster for a very sought after video and something that a lot of people have been waiting for me included to get my hands on the new Guru Aventis 0900 and I'm telling you now I've picked this up off camera and it is unreal so we're going to be having a little go at right up to 60 meters dolly butts looking at the kits looking at the package um, all sorts of stuff it comes with lots of different options uh, which makes it a really cool way to buy your pole yes it's not cheap but that's the flagship kind of pole that we got. So yeah, I've got a 700 as well. We're not gonna go into that on this video. So I'm gonna go through a couple of little bits before we get started on the technical side. Now, I'm not a guru rep, of course. I'm doing it independently. So I don't know everything about the pole. So I'm just gonna go through my feelings, my thoughts, the way I pick it up. I've, I've pretty much held most flagship um, poles. And yes, under load and under fishing circumstances are different, but I can still give you a balance and comparative um, while we're in the shop. new technologies so they have an ultra fast taper uh, fast taper mandrels for super balanced stiffness and weight distribution it's also got a super glide smooth paint finish now this looks amazing it's like a pearlescent kind of color and it does feel great in the hands super smooth uh, matte paint finish um, and smoother to control through the hands a zero 900 super tensile carbon so again high quality this is the best the flagship that the guru offer um, so you imagine it, it's got the stiffness it's got the strength um, the the performance points and um, the section alignments points line up the spine to a maximum so most poles have this in some um, ideal they give you the most strengthened point of spine with all the guiders to make it the stiffest it can possibly be um, RJS rigid joint system, uh, super tensile carbon joints for maximum performance, rigidity in joint wear and resistance, which again, <clears throat> on a pole like this, you would expect that reinforcement and that smoothness uh, in unshipping and shipping and strength, obviously, when you're playing them at distance. Friction free matte tape finish, which is what we talked about, the pearlescent finish, fantastic through the hands on the lower section, on the higher section, should I say. Now they do a variance of different matches, um, uh, packages. So the first one that you can go is the Aventus Aero 900 60 metre match pack. So this is everything that's going to go in the pack um, along with the pole itself. Um, and that is for RIP is four and a half grand. So in that pack, uh, so it is quite uh, extensive. So in the pole package, you get the pole itself at 16 meters, you get the zero fusion pole holder. Again, we'll go into all these uh, in detail and show you those. You get the true extension to make it to 13. You get a true extension of 14.3 and it's also fits to 16. You get the cupping kit with a rapid release pole cups. You get a fusion case for the top kits. You get four Aventus um, kits, which are 3.5 uh, mil match kits and also two top uh, uh, 2.4 meter in total uh, for the length of two of those and um, so you get also uh, four uh, sorry two match point three uh, three point five um, uh, mil ends and they are 3.9 meters so slightly longer uh, and you get uh, their top threes and um, not top twos like the other four and then you get uh, four Aventus match powers, they're 4.7 millimeter bore on them with 2.4 meter in length and they're uh, two piece again. And then five Aventus top kits with uh, Angler's Choice. So if you want to put F1 kits, you want to put power kits, you want to put whatever, you can do that. And that's and that's the beauty of the choice. Um, so if you go onto the match packet, uh, the power package, that is exactly the same price at 4,500. And you get absolutely everything. The difference is where it comes to is the kit. So you get the two 3.5 mil bar, 3.9 meter in length match kit top threes. You get two ma uh, match power kits, which are 4.7 uh, mil with 2.4 meters in length and they're top twos. And then you get six uh, Aventus cap, 5.8 millimeter with a 2.5, uh, 2.4 meter length um, match kit top twos. And then you get five uh, Aventus top kits of your choice again so if you want power you want um, F1 kits you can you can do that um, finally if you want to go on to 
the pack with the F1 kits. That one is 4,250 and it gets exactly everything um, that you get on the others um, but it comes with two short number threes and that's obviously when you're fishing F1s you like to be fishing shallow fishing and um, that stiffens up the pole. You get three of the 3.5 metre 2.4 match top twos um, you get five event S F1 uh, 4.7 millimeter ball, which are 1.8 uh, and top twos, and then again you get five of your choice. If you want to additionally add bits to it, you can do. So it's a lot to uh, to process. Um, if you get it on its own, the pole itself is three grand. So then you could build your own package. But it's a lot of stuff to take in. We will look at all that visually um, and see how it looks and down a pole held in different bits attached to each other and um, we'll do it from both ends so you get to see it as well so yeah let's jump into it and uh, see what we've got to look at we've got the true extension 13 meter in at the moment so first hold as you would imagine 13 meters that's pretty awesome <laughs> yeah su super stiff just unbelievably rigid but what's different and what I'm finding different is that the fa the end sections the mandrel seems to be a lot thicker than other set than other poles that I've used or, or should I say more modern day poles um, and I think just in feeling it it's it's set up more for strength and um, it's still got the rigidity and the stiffness that you would expect from this kind of flagship pole but it's it's a lot more stronger like for example with the AZ Pro um, definitely lighter and a little bit stiffer but not by much but it the, the actual footprint of it is so slim um, and this I would say definitely would feel a lot better on having a cap down the edge and stuff like that what we'll do is put that down we'll change it to 14 and a half and uh, we'll have a look at that right guys so we've got it now with the 14 meters with the um, true length extension in there so this is the true length extension like i say we're going to everything in close detail um that's the first pickup at 14 meters so as you'd imagine still super stiff super responsive but just fishing it and feeling it at this length it does feel great but i must say i still think that my first opinion on the weight and how it feels is still accurate. I still think 14 and a half meters, there is definitely lighter poles. Um, I think this one would definitely cope with carp more. I mean, this has got a match kit on, so obviously, you know, it will stiffen up with some sharp freeze and things like that, but you won't get your true length. But this is 14.3 meters, as it states with the true extension. And I, I'm, I'm going to say I, I'm, I think it's good. I, I'm not. I won't say I'm absolutely blown away. Um, but it is very good. Like, but my XZ65 is good at 14 and a half meters. It's good at 16, to be honest. But yeah, yeah. It, it, I mean, it's 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 you know, it's you can tell it's it's in the top range of poles it's better than the preston superior x 90 definitely um not better than the az if you're going just purely on on stiffness but i do think it would be thicker uh, and slightly stronger so let's get it with um the 16 and see what that's like Right guys, so we've got the pole with a true extension for the full 16 metres. Now, I have got a bit of a dodgy shoulder, so I'm hoping I'm going to be alright with this, but um, this should be great. So what we're going to do is lift it up, see it at 16, make an honest assessment, and then we're going to take out the, the book section, and then we're going to take off until we get to back to 13 with no dollies in it, so you can see what it's like at each of those, and then we'll swap to the other side. So, here we go, 16 metres. Oh, it is, it is heavier than I thought it were going to be, I'll be honest especially with a dodgy shoulder um it's, it's it's not terrible but i'll be honest i am shocked that it is a little bit heavier than i thought it was going to be at that range i did think 
and I'll be honest, I've, I've, I'm pretty weak in that left arm at the moment because I've got a trapped nerve. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit heavier than I thought it were going to be at that section. Um, so if I'm fishing for 16 metres across uh, in a bit of wind, it might be quite interesting if you're fishing for F1s. Um, then maybe a Sphere PT or an AZ Pro, dare I say it, um, would be better. Uh, but there is other shorter kits in. This has got a match kit in. You have got short freeze, but I don't think that that's going to change the weight in these sections. And when you pick them up individually, they are strong sections. So what I will say is that it, I, I'd feel comfortable looking up to stuff over £20, knowing that it won't going to break. Um, so that's for sure. And the end sections are definitely a thicker mandrel, like a, a, a bigger circumference than what we've got used to lately. Um, you've obviously been graced with like 1001s and things like that where the the footprint is a smaller footprint um what i want to do is take that section off see it's like a 60 meter i tell you I'm, I'm like a feeble child at the moment with uh, with my shoulder but we'll give it a go and it, and it does it does make a difference taking out that butt section but it's that reassurement of having it on but it's also it's having that true length of 16 with that button um, the recovery is okay it's not it's not bad um, again I think it's better than the Superior MX90 definitely um, I, I'm sorry to say it if you got the fans but the AZ Pro if you if you want in the all-round is definitely the lighter and stiffer pole um, but again would I trust it as much as I would this probably not um, and we'll get into that when we get into short limbs. So this is 14 metres without a dolly. And again, now it's, that is definitely stiffer and lighter without the dolly in it. But again, you're not at 14.3 metres there. You're probably about 13.8 metres without that dolly on. But, you know, it is pretty good at that, I'll, I'll be honest. Um, and most of the time, people aren't going to go much more than that section. So we'll go back to... The 13 meat section, I'm trying to be careful behind myself here uh, with these sections. And I mean, 13's a dream, as you would expect. And even a dream when it's at true length with that extra extension. So you're probably about 12 meters here. If that got that other extension on it, yeah, looking at it, it's about nearly a meter. So maybe 12.2 here. Um, what we'll do is we'll go around the other side. We'll see what it looks like when you're a bit closer uh, from the other angle. And uh, yeah, see, see what it looks uh, from like a point of view angle. Right guys, so you see me from the distance and we are going to pick it first at 13 metres and then we'll stick the extension in. So like I said, it's about 12.2 metres if it's roughly just under a metre, I reckon that extension, which takes it to the true 13. So like I said, it's an absolute dream as you'd imagine it for sort of this length. It's responsive, it's stiff um, and yeah, just as you would expect. Let's get the old extension on the back of it. So lifting it up, this is a 15 metre uh, exactly section and as you'd imagine 15 metres is a dream, super super duper stiff. Yeah, lovely piece of kit and that's what you'd expect and, and to be honest I would fish it majority of that time at that length and um, that's that's the kind of fishing I do um, but maybe the 700 is your option if that's what you're gonna look at so we can take this one 13 off and we're gonna put the set the 14 and out sorry the foot yeah the 14 meter section on and we'll do that without the, the true dolly first so this is probably about about 14 metres I would have said um, but no, sorry about 13 and a half metres so when it's got no dolly in I mean it's super stiff super responsive super strong and what I was trying to say to you before is that it feels like it's built more for strength more for power than uh, dainty fishing although with the short things you could do that I would have said yeah that's what it, it, it feels like it's built more for strength so we've got the true extension in there now and with that it's, to be honest it's all right if you get yourself set up it's all right in that yeah not too much bounce response is decent 
just a little bit heavier than its its counterparts. Definitely better than the Preston X90 at that at that length. I think personal opinion, of course. All right, let's get the 16 meter section in there. It's like a Jenga Jenga match. This one. So you put the 16 meter section in. And this is where it gets a little, obviously it's going to get heavier because she's sticking more sections on, but this is where I see the biggest difference with a 16. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's up there with, with most flagship poles. Um, but if you're comparing it to an AZ Pro, but can you do? Does it, it comes with a little bit better package, I think, and it's slightly less money. So really, is it a comp fair comparative? Maybe not. Um, there's a bit of bounce there. But all in all, you know, you could, once you sat on your box, happily fish that uh, most of the day. Let's put the dolly section on and bring that back. So picking up that, that it, do, it does definitely make a difference with the weight. Um, if it's there for stability and you know that it's got a little bit of safety of having it on your elbow or it knocks it to that exact 60 meters then yeah. you know what then it's fine isn't it so what we'll do is we'll ship it back we'll get the camera around and we'll start a look at the package all right guys we're seeing the 30 meter section not not with a dolly but you can see that lovely pearlescent finish reflecting off the camera lens and the event is in the silver and um, the zero and the silver and the 900 in the orange and the guru obviously in the orange now looking through got like a little honeycomb effect there and that's going up to these little alignment pieces with each section obviously having the number on it which is what you come to imagine on most poles now it's got that nice finish to it which makes it super easy to um to ship out you can see everything aligned up to make the spine nice and strong now we'll go up to the kits in close but you can see it is a very well balanced pole and the rigidity is good um, but let's get back uh, and look in a little bit detail at the package and uh, see what we think right guys this is quite an extensive little bit but really important to you guys because the whole ethos and I've, I, I'm like most of you will have watched the videos that Guru did self where they talked around how building the package to put across the way you fish so again there's a power there's a match there's an F1 package where you can buy the pole and get your kits independently so what I'm going to do is show you all the kits that we've got here today and we've got a selection of those kits and it just gives you a little bit of a, a better idea on, on maybe what you want to go or what package you want to go um, so the boys here have got a power package uh, which means if you watch the start of the video it'll show you all the kits that it's got with but we have got a few of the other kits here to show you as well so i'm going to start with the one that everybody loves and that's the f1 kit now it is a two-piece and it breaks up like so it's not a one-piece kit we like a lot of f1s and it's a little bit like the browning kits now what i will say is not one kit is got side pullers in it i'm just looking at the cap not none have got it they're all reinforced so you can choose whichever kind of side puller or side roller or whatever you want in there but they all are internally ptfs so this is the sky f1 kit so it's in a gray color and it has that little part of it that breaks off and it is super rigid and super stiff as you would imagine for f1 fishing um, short so it comes up fish will come up close to you um, and just yeah a superb looking and feeling little bit of kit now i'll just take off the top part of it and just lay that to the side of me we'll get that up into camera That'll, that hopefully shows you what it looks like now so this one's called eventus f1 sky and that's a 4.7 meter um bar on the on the tip which means you get away with up to sort of your 12 14 elastics that you do with some of the heavier f1s that you can find nowadays especially in uh, bennies at limdown now the second one i'm just going to tilt that one behind me feels a bit more uh, stronger which is the cat power this is a 5.8 millimeter um top kit two piece 
uh, a little bit longer than the F1 kit, but you can see the bar, 5.2 mil, is definitely a thicker bar. Uh, and again, lovely finish on it, lovely and light, lovely and stiff in your hand, as you would imagine. Um, nicely reinforced, a real good thick part of reinforcement to choose what you want to put on for that side bullet uh, boring. And I'll bring that up close, take that top pit, uh, like I said, two piece, um, like most of them, and we'll bring that up to camera. Again, lovely finish, lovely, lovely inlay of the carbon uh, when it comes to the reinforcements. So I'll uh, put that one over there, and then in another two-piece kit, this one is the match two-piece 3.5 meter uh, bar on this one. A 3.5 mil should i say bar on the end um so a little bit lighter obviously for your lighter elastics um and again this is the one we took off the pole nice and rigid nice and light and again really really well put together so moving on to this side the last of the uh, two-piece kits that we've got here this one is the match 4.7 mil two piece. So it's it's pretty much the, exactly the same, just a slightly bigger bar on the end of it. Nice and stiff, as you'd imagine. Absolutely perfect. Two two piece. That looks absolutely spot on. And now moving on to this bit, and like I say, guys, it's uh, it, there's just an extensive amount of kits. This is the the, the, the final of, of the five. This one is a slightly smaller smaller bar again on a match kit and this is the 3.5 mil and again you can use this um, with the reinforcement and it comes with obviously your additional section to take it to a three piece and that takes, gives you a lot of, lot of length and it's also, also a spare number three that comes with it effectively but again super stiff and super well put together Let's have a, a getting close to the rest of the stuff because we have got some more bits to go into. Right guys, so there is a few of a bits of additional uh, parts. So it comes with a rapid release uh, three pots uh, cupping kit. So you obviously get the, the cupping kit itself and then you super glue up, uh, your next bit onto it and it's just a quick, quick release. There's three different sizes in there. I've used them before in the past and they are really, really good. So it also comes with one of the fusion hard cases for all your top kits now everything absolutely everything comes in tubes and there's more in the bag which we'll show you and um, this you can take them out do whatever you want but again you're getting something really substantial there's a hard case to go inside your bigger case to keep everything safe so in that said what we'll do is I'll pick up the camera, we'll go in close and you can have a look at inside of the bag and then we'll finish it up with everything back in it. Right guys, so the case itself, it's obviously opened up on the left hand side is where the Fusion uh, bag will go and then you can see the rest of the tubes for the top kits and for to cut, uh, your match kits, your cupping kits and for the pole itself and then it has two other compartments here and here which are your two dolly butts with nice zips on there and just plenty of space to put everything what i'll do is i'll zoom it back out and we'll have a little look of it with everything in it right guys so you can see the bag it's one of the really nice waterproof aventus bags it does look smart um, but it is a beast but i suppose when you're doing now commercial fishing and you're doing the big matches and lots of matches you need lots of kitchen you need lots of space and everything is in one case it's got a lovely carrying handle lovely big strap and to be fair the shape of it's quite a tubular shape which makes it easy for loading the cars which is effectively what you need nowadays so let's put it down what's my uh, honest opinions so I think EZ is in a category of its own. I, think, I don't think it's fair to judge this in that category. Um, I think with uh, the Superium X90, I think it's sort of that that kind of built up with a bit more package, but I think it's that kind of level. Um, and I think it uh, may be a little bit stronger just for more carp. I feel like it's, it's more of a power pole, but when you use the short freeze, which we didn't have today, I wanted to to use that to show you it stiffened up um, and certainly around that 13 meter area if you were doing more dainty fishing i think it'd be great um, it is a little heavier at the 14 and a half and the 16 meters um, but when we took it to pieces the 
the end sections obviously you know that's where the money the weight is but there is some good solid strength in there so i do think that it'll have a massive backbone for those bigger fish it just depends where you want to go and the the, the way you can choose the different packages uh, is really smart and really clever would i buy it yeah i would yeah i think it would contend with anything would i say come and sit down with the others definitely every person has a different feel different balance and a different way we're all different heights sizes and strengths so what suits one doesn't necessarily suit another so definitely come and have a try um thank you to the guys at fishing tackle and bait for giving me the first uh, dibs on getting it out and uh, having a look at it and it's truly is a, a great package and you know up there with with the best that are out there so definitely worth coming they've got one in the moment they've got some more in order so if you want this one you need to be chop chop uh, and get down to, to fishing tackle and bait and if you want to check any other videos out then have a look at the playlist and see what we've got to offer and uh, also if you uh, want to join us on the facebook group then join us on there if you want to join us on the instagram angling underscore for you that's great and until the next one guys thank you very much tight lines